posted a story on Facebook the other day about a purple dragonfly that Jonathan and I saved together at our lake. Little did I know that it would inspire a poem that moved me to tears when I retold it to my mom. Here's the poem that Lisa Thompson wrote, Dragonfly at the Lake. Purple wings, thin and worn, battered by the lake's embrace. You rest on Jonathan's head, a passenger on a human's pace. There's Jonathan right there. What brought you here, asked the lake, its voice deep and wide. The wind took me, said the dragonfly. To you I must confide. Why do you linger, wings soaked and weak? The lake swirled gently as if it might speak. I've seen so much, said the dragonfly, and still want to see more. The lake lapped soft around Jonathan's feet, carrying them both to shore. A silent exchange in the water's cool depth. Jonathan whispered, look, I have a guest. On the back of his head, a purple light glowed, a dragonfly resting wherever he'd go. I swam toward him, arms cutting through blue. Let me carry our friend, I said with a coo. It stepped on my finger, wings trembling and thin. I placed it on the noodle, its small perch to begin. The dragonfly watched as we paddled along. I sang to it softly, a wordless song. What secrets do you keep, little one? I asked with a smile. Its eyes met mine, but it was quiet for quite a while. You see me, it whispered in the breeze, of my breath. Between worlds, I hover between life and death. Why do you stay? I asked as we neared the shore. To live, it replied, a little longer, a little more. Forty minutes we journeyed Two humans, one guest. A dance of connection, a moment of rest. Reaching the land, the dragonfly clung tight, reluctant to leave, holding fast to its flight. Finally, it flew toward the trees with a sigh, a fragile grace beneath the wide open sky. The lake rippled gently as if to say, thank you for bringing it home today. Jonathan smiled. It chose us, it seems, to live in this magic, to dance in our dreams. Dragonfly wisdom, transformations bright, spark, showing us light in the places most dark. And so we walked on through sun's fading light, grateful for magic in an ordinary sight. Purple wings, once battered, now fly, holding the stories between earth and sky.